What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's another hot ass day in Arizona. Today I'm gonna go ahead and start working on the G35. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove these bumpers. Um, the reason is because they're not in good shape. They're on there with duct tape and they're just they're just in bad shape. So um, the rear one I actually ended up crashing. I ended up reversing out of the garage and I backed in onto my wife's Kia so that's why this one's all messed up now um, but I'm still gonna go ahead and remove them I want to test fit the new wheels that I have for this car to see if I'm gonna need spacers in the front um, I already have the lug nuts the guy who sold me the wheels was kind enough to give me these so that's the score for me um, but yeah let's go ahead and get this video on the way I also want to go ahead and remove the bumpers because these lights are not even properly mounted so um, they're both just kind of held down with like little zip ties or something so I want to go ahead and line these up because I think the vehicle was in a car crash so um, a lot of the stuff the fenders don't line up so I want to see if maybe I can make it look nice and straight like I said I'm also going to remove the wheels to test fit the new ones that I have and then um, just see what the condition of the vehicle is since this is the first time that I have it lifted up in jack stands. As you guys can see there's no front support on this vehicle so that means it probably was involved in a car crash in the front end um, there is a lot of cables that are um, kind of chewed up and a lot of connections that are missing we're actually missing our little tank here for the uh, windshield fluid so that's missing um, the headlights don't look like they're broken, so I can probably still fix them up, just, uh, clear them up. This is just overspray from Plasti Dip, so I can probably still make these look okay. Um, the fenders, I'm probably gonna have to remove and see if I can line this up. Um, but other than that, I don't see any frame damage, I don't see any parts of the body that are bent. Um, underneath the vehicle, it's actually pretty dry, so I'm pretty happy about that. Once I remove the headlight, I'm going to clear it up, and then uh, I'm going to do that to both. And then we're going to go ahead and remove the rear bumper and test fit the wheels. Alright, now we're going to go ahead and move on to the rear bumper. We're going to go ahead and remove this one because you guys can obviously see it's not in the best condition. So, um, I think I'm going to pull a Tavarsh and just run the exhaust. Um, tips for a bit until at least I can source a rear bumper for this vehicle. I was able to get the bumper off um, and I was able to push the dent that it had out um, but still I'm not gonna keep it it's already damaged and um, I think this looks a lot better in my opinion how it looks right now <laughs> even though it looks like crap but what I'm gonna do is leave it like this until I can get all the parts that I need so I don't have to constantly be putting this on taking it off and then as far as the uh, tail lights, I'm going to go ahead and leave these on for now until I can find the ones that I want. Um, but for now, what I'm going to do is remove one side of these wheels so I can test fit um, these rims right here, which are the 370Z um, rims. These are the rays. So I'm going to go ahead and test fit these on right now. Okay. 
since these tires are good and the rims could be better I'm probably gonna try to sell these tires and rims and maybe put the difference because uh, the front tires are actually in good shape they look like they're new um, but they're not the same tire all around so we'll see I'll probably end up selling those fix them up a little bit so I can get some money out of it and then get some tires for these rims but like I said I'm gonna go ahead and test fit these some spacers because if you guys look at right here um, it's actually making contact with the link right here and it's actually rubbing on the calipers so I kind of figured that I was gonna need some spacers in the front I think a 25 millimeter would be enough to clear the fronts and then as far as the rear goes um, they look like they cleared pretty good I like the offset a lot in the rear because it's kind of flush with the body of the vehicle um, but these actually clear Pretty good. Lots of space. What do you guys think about the wheels though? I kind of like them. Um, I think with the right color and the right set of tires, they'll look pretty good. So this is pretty much going to be it for this video. I kind of did a lot and I'm kind of all over the place. So I need to clean up these headlights and I don't want to kind of rush on them. So. Um, I want to do that and then I want to go ahead and uh, adjust the support right here because it doesn't look like the holes line up right there so I'm going to mess with it a few few more days to see if I can get that perfect so that the um, fenders right here line up with the headlight uh, but yeah if you guys did like the video please make sure to give me a thumbs up and I'll see you guys all in the next video peace